our goal for today is to put the power port power into here into the box and put the service panel in this is all left over from my pickup truck this was all in the truck and put our outlet boxes in and, and wire them in so get the, the 110 shore power put in i've ordered the battery cables and things for the batteries to be hooked up the breakers and the battery cables so i don't have that on hand so we'll shift to the 110 and then i'll be able to have power on the inside of the trailer while i work and i can work in the daytime nighttime whether it's raining or whether it's sunshiny okay these are some of the things i got for installation i have a 30 amp shore power plug-in and it just means that the rv parks i can plug in 30 amps here we'll put this in the side of the trailer drill a big hole then i've got some 10 to electrical conduit to run from the plug-in to the service panel so i've got a qo load center here it's two two breakers square d and then i've got two 20 amp breakers one for each circuit so i'm going to run in two circuits i've got some electrical outlets here that have the usb ports in them i like these i don't remember what brand they are these are the ones i was using in the pickup truck i really like them i've got some 12-2 conduit to run from the service panel to the electrical outlets and so the plan is to have one electrical outlet down here for the refrigerator and then one on each side up here by the kitchen and then one on each side in the back by the uh, bed and the battery box so we'll start the installation now and there you have a nice two and a half inch hole that this can plug into and we'll screw it there are four screw holes in the plug-in let's see here see there are four screws All right there's a gasket on the back we'll screw it in it'll be a weather tight connection the hole the hole comes in on the inside so the wiring will come in we'll put the breaker uh, the service panel beside that and there you have the installed box. Four screws screwed in, weather tight gasket around the outside. Okay. And on the inside, you have the 10 2 tapped in. So this is the white port. This is the black one. It's got the black color coating. This is the green for ground. So that's the bare copper wire. And I've got enough conduit here to put the service panel over here on the side. All right, now you can see the service panel is in, screwed on. It's just three screws up in here, screwed them to the wood. Now we got to run the con conduit up into the uh, service panel and get it hooked up for the for the breakers. Now you can see. Got the service panel breaker box. I've got a left side, a right side, left side, right side. They're gonna be wired into these two 110 boxes. So this will be a left side, right side. And I've also got my solar inverter here. And it's got three outlets on it. I don't know if you can see those or not. One, two, three, plus a USB port. Okay, so this breaker here will control that one. This breaker here will control that one. You can see how I've got the whites on the bus bar here. Top and bottom. Top and bottom, okay. And then the black goes into these lugs. The commons, the grounds are all here. They're all, the bare wires are all together, tied in together. And then the black wires from here come down here to one breaker and this black wire comes into this breaker. 
and so that's how it services it. All right, so now I've got a wire in these outlets here. You're gonna have a black wire, a white wire, and a ground wire. These are the outlets I'm gonna use. The black wire, black is gonna go with the gold, white is gonna go with the silver, and then the, the bare wire will attach to the ground. Okay, you can see how I've used a wire stripping tool like this that will be able to remove some wire, about five eighths to a half an inch of uh, insulation off the ends of the wires. And I stuck the gold, uh, the black wire into the gold and uh, attached the ground to the ground and the white to the silver. And now you bend the wires and you push it in and finagle it and work with it and get it to slide up inside the box there. All right, and once you get it all slid, slid up in the box and you can tighten up the screws. And there we have it. The two wire, the two outlets are hooked up left and right. Now I'm gonna go get a tester and test to see whether they're wired incorrectly and plug in the shore power. This is my 30 amp service cable that I use for when I'm camping out. You have to have an adapter to fit this to your 110 outlet. So this is a 30 amp cable. This adapts it to a 15 amp service. So you'll plug that in here and plug it into your wall to get your 110 volts. At the other end of the cable, we have a locking connector here, here, that fits into the wall of the, the port. And so you have this L you have this L-shaped prong here that fits in the L-shaped prong here. You put it in, plug it in, you give it a little twist, and then you can tighten the lock ring on it to keep it from being pulled away from your RV. But you have to remember to unhook it before you move. So now we're plugged in to the shore power outside. And the breakers are both off. This is a circuit tester, and so it gives you lights that tell you whether everything's okay. It's got a little uh, code here that tells you whether everything is okay or not. We should have two yellow lights on the right and a white light on the left or no light on the left, and it'll tell us whether the outlets are wired incorrectly. All right, so we'll test the left breaker first. Turn it on. And so we have the, I have it upside down, but we have the two yellow lights that would be on the left and it tells us that we're uh, wired incorrectly. This one's not on, but now it is. So we have the two yellow lights that tell us that it's wired correctly. 